11, I'm Kelly Swoop. And I'm Jamie Costello. We are tracking a string of armed robberies at and around in Owings Mills High School. The items taken, shoes belonging to high school students. Yeah, the robberies took place last Friday, right as kids were being let out of school. And folks out there tonight expressing their concerns with us. WMAR 2 News' Jack Watson checked in with us tonight. And Jack, I'd imagine parents are pretty scared about this. Yeah, Kelly, it's certainly not the letter you want to receive if you're a parent. Three armed robberies, one taking place in the school parking lot, another a few minutes later, or the two a few minutes later, uh, just at a local shopping center. And one parent tells me it's unsettling. If you see something, say something. You know, um, let's talk about it. We That's what a concerned parent who asks us to remain anonymous is saying to her child after robberies of Newtown high schoolers in Owings Mills for shoes. An unnerving thing for a high school freshman a few months into high school. I'm a little uneasy. This is a new experience. And then to have something like this happen, um, very concerning. Last Friday the 6th, this mom and her fellow parents opened their inboxes to find this. A letter from Newtown high school principal James Martin who told them, quote, a light gray Honda Accord with tinted windows drove into the student parking lot during dismissal. Several unidentified individuals exited the vehicle and robbed a student of their shoes. Within minutes, he says, two more shoe robberies took place in this shopping center, a short walk away from the high school. Stay in, involved with your kids and talk to them. Sam Casano regularly shops at the center. He tells me he feels safe, but this kind of thing is a problem. Words elude me, hear stuff like that. You know, it's not the first I've heard of this. I've heard stories of uh, people being held up and brutalized over pairs of shoes now for, oh my goodness, three, four decades. This mom tells me she believes the school is doing the best it can. The principal says the police were called right away and they sent the letter out to parents the same day. But still, she's understandably worried about a repeat offense. My specific concern is that it may occur again. Like, you know, we don't know. The unknown is concerning in itself and making sure that all kids are safe at all times. Well, we did make a request to Baltimore County Police for more information on this. What else was taken, if anything, and whether this has happened at any other local high schools. We have not received a response just yet at this hour. For now, we are live in Owings Mills. Jack Watson, WMAR 2 News. All right, Jack.